Congratulations, you just graduated, and now you're starting your job search in the international market. Did you know, if you show, write on, or play with your business card during a meeting in Japan, it is seen as disrespectful? However, being invited to join your business partners in a sauna after a meeting means they respect you in Finland. All these cultures have many different traits. The global human resource management of many companies are trying to bridge the gap between cultures to make it a more homogenous working environment by looking after their employees. Human resource managers go through three steps to make sure the company resonates equality. 1. Recruitment Before you think about where and how you're going to get your dream job, think about the company's recruitment ethics. When taking an ethnocentric approach, companies are looking to place their home country employees into their host country positions. Companies can also take a polycentric view. This is the opposite of ethnocentric, where companies look to directly employ locals. A great mix of both staffing approaches allows companies to use their global human resource management efficiently and helps to bridge and make the strong relationships between cultures. This is called geocentric recruitment. 2. How do you get paid? Your payment includes three parts, which are base salary, foreign service premium and allowances. The base salary is the same range as that for a similar position in their home country, but paid by local currency. Foreign service premium is paid as a percentage of your base salary. It can help you live in an unfamiliar country, deal with the new culture and languages, and adapt to new work habits. There are four types of allowances you can get, which include the hardship, the housing, the education, as well as the cost of living. You can receive the same level of medical and pension benefits abroad that you receive in your home country. In addition, you also can receive leave, including regular vacation, annual home leave and rest and rehabilitation leave if you are sent overseas. Lastly, training. Now you will go through training to make sure you are fully integrated into the position. The job will either customize the training or have you go through a standardized procedure depending on its protocol. It may be through passive methods like in a classroom or seminars or active method through simulations. Now that you feel more comfortable with your job, Human Resource will make sure you develop within the company by reaching your goals and analyzing your performance. It is important Human Resource nurtures your growth in the company to avoid assignment failures, for example, moving abroad. International Human Resource Management is an integral part of a company. It is what makes up the company holistically and what will drive the company to become bigger and better. So now, can you understand the global human resource management of companies?